previously on Skyward Sword. Ignore the cat on my neck, on my back. Um, how do I get out of here? Where's the map? All I've got you are not... You better not be clawing up my chair. I can hear you back there. <laughs> I backed it into a corner, though. There we go. Alright, I still don't know how to properly defeat one of those, but once again, brute force seems to work. Uh, this isn't good. Let's get the shield out. Quite the sword you have here, but so long as you telegraph your attacks like the novice you are, you never land a blow. Can I have my sword back? Ow! Not like- that's not what I meant. Alright, hey, welcome back. Another week of Zelda Skyward Sword. We left off. We just beat the- the temple at the forest- the Skyview Temple. That's what it was called, not a forest temple. And we're here in this beautiful paradise of waterfalls and birds and fishies. Um, we just defeated a demon lord last time. Well, defeated is a strong term. We kind of survived a demon lord and he got bored with us and walked away. Um, I think, and now we're here. I think I need to activate whatever this is. Um, I got another heart last episode. Zelda ran away. She was apparently here previously, but is no longer here. I have activated a cutscene. Is Zelda just hiding behind the statue? She's like, oh, you found me. Hee <laughs> hee. Let's go home now. Game over. Uh, that's probably not what's happening. Uh, Fee has something to say. Though, Master, I have a message written in the language of the gods of old. Allow me to translate it for you. Okay. Oh my god. I'm too bit I'm so distracted by the dancing. Uh, from the edge of time, I guide you, the one chosen to carry out the goddess's mission. Fee is out of here. She's long gone now. She's not even on the screen anymore. Oh no, she's just she's just showing off. Uh, the spirit maiden who descended from the clouds must travel to two sacred places to purify her body. Purify her body? What does that mean? Okay, you stand in one of these places, Skyview Spring. The other is known as the Earth Spring. Okay, so Zelda is on a mission, and this was one of her stops. Fee, can you stop showing off? I can't do any of that stuff. Not even on land. I can't. Oh my god. Fee? You know, I said stop showing off, and this is what you do. You start showing off even more somehow. This is the second springs hidden away deep within the scorched earth of Elden. I hope there's no rings in Elden, if you know what I mean, because that place is scary enough. Uh, the spirit maiden, ever mindful of the heavy task entrusted to her, has set out for the second sacred place. Do you see how many times I'm spinning? I've spun, spun like 200 times. 300 times. She's still spinning down there. I'm sure of it. Uh, the goddess statue has another piece of the map for me, it looks like. Another piece of the, uh, the tablet. Fee is dizzy as all heck from spinning a million times. Uh, we got the ruby tablet. The weathered surface on this heavy stone tablet feels very old. Okay. That was very impressive, Fee. Those dance moves were very nice. Um, if you can teach me some of those one day, I won't say no. I'm just, just saying, putting that out there. Uh, Master, as I just translated it in dance through interpretive dance, it would appear that Zelda has purified herself in the waters of the spring. I calculated a 97% chance that she has already set out for Elden, where another great spring exists. Again, where are you getting these, these measurements from for these percentages? I'm just curious. Um, however, it is not clear what method of travel Zelda used to move from here to her next destination. I mean, probably her loft wing. She still has that, right? Uh, my analysis suggests that you should take the tablet to the altar in Skyloft. Okay, uh, doing so will likely open a new column of light on the surface, allowing you to descend to another area and continue your search for Zelda. Alright, the bird statue that transports you back to the sky should be in the forest you previously passed through. Do I have to go back through the whole temple or am I just gonna appear there oh I just appear there how nice what was that oh hey it's you it's uh it's Jimbo I forgot your name oh it's Machi okay hey it's me did you find the girl uh <laughs> who are you <laughs> that'd be rude uh not yet let's not be rude to this little guy oh that's too bad it, but it sounds like you at least know where you need to search to find her Qui. that's something right that is something I'll give you that I'm so glad I've finally been reunited with all my Kui Kui Wo Wo, -wo friends. Uh, it's all thanks to you, Kui. You're welcome. You're welcome, little guy. Uh, with any luck, hopefully you'll find that girl you've been searching for in real soon. 
Take care. Bye. I don't care anymore. See ya, sucker. Wow, that's very rude at the end. I thought you were cool, but apparently, you, you know, your attention span is uh, just as far as I can throw you, just about. All right, we are going. We're going to save because we made a little bit of progress there. I just I save at every save point because they're there for a reason. And we're going to go to the sky. We haven't been to the sky since we fell from the sky. Um, so this will be a nice little home reunion here. Everybody's probably going to be like, oh, Big L, we missed you. Where you been? We thought you fell from the sky. And then I'll be like, oh, but I've risen again. I've risen from the ashes to bring you a message. It's the stone tablet. Um, it's going to take me into Elden. The El Elden Ring. Oh, Fee's here. Fee, you are blocking my view. This is very dangerous. No pilot would want this. No pilot would want a ghost blocking his view offline. Uh, Master Big L, uh, when you hit that goddess cube with the Skyward Strike earlier, I was able to detect a resulting energy reaction above the clouds. Oh. Oh, so that's what those things are doing. I was wondering. The location I've marked for you on your map indicates a spot where I sensed an energy reaction. Huh. Maybe I should. Maybe I should go check that out. Let's let's check it out. We haven't done that yet. Let's let's see what those are all about. I advise you investigate the area around this location. All right, so we will get to the the tablet thing eventually, but I do want to check out the uh, the cube thing over here. So give me one moment, and we'll fly right over there. How do I get off? Nope. Nope. Okay. Well. That was one way to do it. I'm here. Oh, and there's a there's a chest right here. Is this? Oh, this is probably some magical chest I can't open. Oh, or it's a magical chest that I can open. I didn't consider that. Oh, an adventure pouch bigger. It can now fit an additional item inside. Oh, nice. Okay. I didn't have that many items to begin with, but that's going to come in handy in the future, I'm sure. All right, was that it? There's something inside here. Let's also save the game again. I know we just saved like two minutes ago. But just work with me here. Just in case there's like a bazooka in there that's aimed at the door and it blows my head clean off. I just want to make sure I saved first. That's all I'm saying. Uh, I broke their pots. Ooh, pumpkins. I'm going to break their pumpkins in a little bit. Um, let's try the back door. They'll never expect the back door. The bazooka's not trained at this door here. All right. I have the element of surprise. Oh, there's actually like people here. People live here. There's a piece of heart up there. I should figure that out. I should get a piece of heart. All right. What's going on in here? Looks like a cast of characters. The Lumpy Pumpkin. I like it. I like the name. All right. This person seems to have Hi. more of a main character kind of vibe, if you know what I mean. This is Kina. Well, well, welcome. I can sense from your handsome outfit that you're a Skyloft Knight. I hope you make yourself at home at the Lumpy Pumpkin. You have the rupees sitting on top of the chandelier caught your eye? Don't go thinking that you can get those down, you hear? You might think that you could knock the rupees down by bumping something and making the chandelier shake, but don't even think about it. Are we clear? To be fair, my wallet's full. I don't care about the rupees. I just want that piece of heart. And I do have a, I have a bug that I can't use inside. Okay, never mind. It looks like I have to do this the old-fashioned way. What are you gonna tell me to leave him alone to? Keat. His name's Keat. All right, listen to this. The old guy over there says he saw a new, saw a demon. I, I saw a demon too. He was stylishly dressed, but he had some weird mannerisms to him. You know, licking his lips right next to my ear. I don't really appreciate that personally. Uh, he obviously is trying to get Kina's attention, but he won't get anywhere using creepy lines like that. All right, all right, old guy. What do you got to say? Did, what did what did you see? You believe me, don't you? Uh, sure, hundred percent. I don't even know what it is. I know, right? You're a good kid. Ah, oh, thanks. All right, and you? How are you doing? That is quite a mustache. That's quite. A, it's impressive. Uh, welcome to every bird rider's favorite rest stop, the Lumpy Pumpkin. This is one of the only places you can enjoy some of our famous pumpkin soup. What do you think? Want to try a bit and see what all the buzz is about? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm. Sure. I'm impressed, young man like yourself can appreciate the refined taste. Just 10 rupees a bottle. Interested? I don't have an empty bottle, but can I try anyway? You don't have an empty bottle. <laughs> all right. 
It's mighty hard to drink soup when you got nothing to drink from. Come see me again when you found an empty bottle. Okay. You know what? I gave it a try, though. I gave it a try. You know what? I just realized last episode I fought that boss battle. Oh. Nope. Never mind. Stop. And I'm trying to find the, the menu button. I fought that boss battle, and I completely forgot I had a health potion right here. And this one also heals me, too. 100% I forgot about that. Um, but next time, hopefully I won't forget. Hey, it's you. You're one of the guys that threw eggs at my face. Stretch. Hey, big gal. Uh, I didn't think I'd see you here. Bet you're wondering what I'm doing here. Yep. I'm a big wanderer, me. I think I mentioned this before, but man, I'm really into bugs. Are you? That's why I'm out collecting insects wherever I think I'll find them. If you have a bug net, too, you should try catching some. Hehehe. <laughs> If you don't have one, you can also pick up one at the Beatles Air Shop. Oh, I did hear about that like five episodes ago. I still haven't done it. Uh, I'm sure that sweaty shopkeeper is still flying around Skyloft. Now, why do you have to call him sweaty? Like, why can't you just say shopkeeper? No respect in today's youth. No respect at all. How rude. Okay. Can I jump to the lamp from here? No, I cannot even climb on this. Okay. Hmm. So perhaps that piece of heart will elude me today. What does this say? No rough housing on the balcony. Big ruckus can cause the chandelier to shake. Oh, hold on. How do I, how do I cause a ruckus? Oh, there we, I can roll. Okay, I, I, I figured out how to roll again. Let's try this. Oh, oh, they're gonna be pissed at me. They're gonna be pissed. Oh, they're gonna be so mad. Oh my God. You know what, Plum? I don't blame you. Uh, why would you do that? He, he yells. Uh, get down here at this instant. To be fair, I, I'm not here for the rupees. I'm just here for the piece of heart. Whoopsie daisy. Okay. Well, I mean, it's not, is it whoopsie daisy if I did it on purpose? On the positive, I got a piece of heart. Collect four hearts. So I just need one more to get a new heart. All right. I'm going to avoid the rupees because I was told not to get the rupees. And I'm going to honor that um, but what is wrong with you <laughs> just look at what you've done you broke my fancy custom ordered chandelier well I don't have much of a defense but in a very tiny fraction of a defense that I might have why are you hanging such a fancy chandelier on such a flimsy thread that two knocks into a pole would knock over like that uh, just saying Probably should have secured that better. Uh, you're going to work, be working for me for free until you pay off every single rupee that chandelier cost me. Got that? Are you ready to own up to your responsibility? Yeah, okay. You know what? Let it be said that Big L is not without honor. Uh, he takes responsibility for running into poles. Uh, that's right. I'm going to hold you to that. Let's not waste any time putting you to work. I need you to deliver my famous soup to Aegis, Skyloft's knight commander. I know who that is. Okay. Uh, the night commander is a regular here. He says he can't get his day started without a bowl of my soup. He just lays in bed without starting the day. What do you say? Are you ready to deliver some soup to the night commander? Yes. Hey, you haven't got an empty bottle. You need an empty bottle if you want to carry a soup. Oh, okay, okay. Dang it. Okay, well, looks like I got to sacrifice one of my bottles here. Let's sacrifice this one because that will heal my shield if I, if I can. Um... Let me figure out how I haven't had a bottle before. Here we go. Use. Perfect. Okay, now I should have an empty bottle. Let's try that again. So you bought an empty bottle, like I asked. Great. All right, then. Here's the hot pumpkin soup. Deliver that to the night commander. And we need to go to Skyloft anyway for the, the tablet thing. So this works out. You got some hot pumpkin soup, the homemade soup pump with Plum's recipe. But watch it. It'll get cold in five minutes. Oh, this is a timer, too. Okay. The Night Commander hates cold soup. You gotta take the hot soup over to him. You gotta deliver to him in less than five minutes so the soup will get cold. All right, we're on a timer. We're on a timer now, okay. Here we go. I need to get there fast. It would be nice if there was a timer on the screen so I would have an idea of how much time I have left. But I guess beggars can't be choosers. I'm going to jump off the edge here and call for my bird and try to get to Skyloft ASAP. Uh, where is Skyloft? Oh, there it is. Nice. Found it. Alright, so a minute has passed by looking at my clock here. I think we'll make it. I think we'll be okay. Uh, the Knight Commander, if he's still where he was at before, should be here. Oh. 
Oh, oh, sailcloth, there we go. Almost pancaked myself, that would have been bad. Uh, Knight Commander, I think we've done it. It's only been like a minute and a half. By my calculations, we should be okay. Man, I think, I think we made it. Assuming this is the right guy. You're the Knight Commander, right? It's been a little bit. Yes, here he is. How have you been working hard on your swordsmanship? I might smell something. I know that earthly aroma is not that my favorite pumpkin soup. I asked the owner of Lumpy Pumpkin to bring me some, but you went out of your way to deliver it for me. That's right. I didn't accidentally break half of his shop and now have to pay him off. I'm just doing this out the goodness of my heart. Uh, here you go. Can I get the empty bottle back though? That would be nice. Ooh, all right, that just it just disappeared. They couldn't uh, they couldn't animate a uh, fluid flowing out of that. This is the stuff. Pumpkin soup is the best piping hot. All right, nice. We made it. Uh, well done. Say thanks to the owner for me. I shall, I shall, but we will probably do that later because I'm going to go put a stone in the in the place where the, the tablets go. And then I'm going to probably forget about the lumpy pumpkin and not go back. Although, you know, I'll, I'll try to remember. I'll try to be good and pay my dues, you know? There's another save point. Let's save the game again. Nice. There we go, saving the game. You know, I have been saving a lot. But I haven't really been dying a lot, thankfully, so maybe I am overdoing it. Uh, how are you doing? You got anything new to say? How we in? Uh, how goes your search for Zelda? Still a failure? Oh, I see. Uh, remember to find a bed and sleep if you start getting tired. A quick nap can restore your hearts and refresh your mind to explore after dark. Oh, I didn't know that. Restore hearts. I guess that makes sense. All right. So, I believe the goddess statue is somewhere way over here. Uh, this seems a little... A little dangerous here. All right. Am I going the right way? I am not. I am not going the right way. All right. Going back. All right. Finally, I got myself turned around. I'm going the right direction this time. My goodness. You probably all just screaming at the how your screen's right there. I'm like, Chris, you're going the wrong way, you big idiot. What are you doing? Go back. Calm down. I figured it out. You can, you can delete that comment. We're okay now. I apologize for upsetting you so much. Um, oh. Put that away. We don't need to attack anything here. This is a place of, of peace. This is a holy place, Big L. We don't need to... No, I mean, what did I just say? What did I just say? Calm, calm down. Calm down. Okay, we're going to put the tablet here. That thing we got, like, almost 20 minutes ago. We're finally, finally doing it. All right. Two pieces in. One or two left to go, potentially. Basing off of that empty space there. Nice. So now we can visit the forest whenever we want and that new place whenever we want, apparently. Master, I have confirmed the location of a second opening in the cloud barrier. It is located in the skies to the northeast. This opening will allow you to access a new area on the surface, but I suggest you fly there as soon as possible to complete your necessary preparations. Oh, as soon as you complete your necessary preparations. Okay. Makes sense. Makes sense to me. I do have an empty bottle now. Um, hold on. How do I... I I'm so bad at the buttons. Uh, here we go. I got an empty bottle. So I probably should buy a potion. Just so I have something in there. It's better to have a full bottle than an empty bottle. I think that's how the saying goes. The saying I just made up just now. That's how it goes. Um, and you can't tell me I'm wrong because I just made it up. Oh, I haven't talked to you before. Uh, why not? Kukil, Kukil, or Kukil, whatever, Kukil. Uh, where could that child have gone? Is that the child that was headbutting the tree? I don't know what his name was, but he sounds like a Kukil. Where did you go? Uh, what will I do if she's been kidnapped? Okay, that was not the headbutting kid. Do kidnappings happen here a lot on this island in the sky? Oh, big L. I can't imagine who would be kidnapping. Is like, it like a bird? I don't know. A tornado? A tornado did kidnap Zelda, so I guess it does happen. Now that I think about it. What perfect timing. Have you seen Kukil? Have you? Uh, no, I have not. I have not seen him. Or her. Uh, I see. Please, Big Al. Will you help me look for her? I've been looking everywhere, but I can't find her. I've asked everyone I could find help, and a few people said that she's been spotted with some unknown person with a scary face. Okay, hopefully that's not the Demon Lord. Uh, someone else said they thought they'd seen her carried off by a monster. Oh my god. She must have been kidnapped. She's so cute and friendly, someone must have walked off with her. 
Oh my goodness, that's that's serious. Uh, find Kukio, please. It breaks my heart to think somewhere that she's out there crying. Okay, hold on. I got there's, there seems to be a side mission thing to this game, and I, I need to write down Kukio because I will forget. Um, uh, there we go. There. There we go. Okay, got it. I wrote it down in my notes. So I had no excuse now. All right, please, Big L. Um, you got it. I'll help you out. Nope, I can't promise I'll find her, but I'll, I'll try. Uh, thank you. The Knight Academy should be proud to have a student like you. I forget I'm a knight sometimes. I have like an obligation or something like that. Please find my daughter quickly. Hey. All right, so now I have to find a missing child. I have to repay my debt to the pumpkin people. And I have to fly down to the world of Elden to find Zelda. I'm thinking I'll try for the child first. I have I got nothing to go on except it was a creepy faced person with a monster. And I don't even know what this girl looks like, honestly. Let, let me do some, I'm gonna do some digging around town just to see if I can find any clues at all. Let's see. What, what do you have to say? You got something to say. Have you seen the girl? Did you hear a child who's been playing in the graveyard? What missing? Okay, she does know something. Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters abducting children out of our little town? Um, I don't, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna stoke the fire quite just yet. Uh, nothing phases you, does it? A child just vanished from our village. Start being phased. Start showing emotions, Big L. Hey, come back here. Come back. You know, I just, I can't deal. I can't. I don't want to be yelled at right now. I'm sorry. All right, graveyard though. She mentioned the graveyard. I have not seen a graveyard before. I haven't explored the whole town either, so can't really say I'm too surprised by that. Where would a graveyard be? There's a there's a pumpkin yard. All right, let me look around for a graveyard. Did I miss something? Did you hear a child's been put in the graveyard? Went missing. Can you believe it? Do you really think there are monsters or Let's say I do. Let's say I do this time. So there's a chance she was dragged off by a monster. Let's not be ridiculous here. The monster business is going a bit far. Oh. Now that you mention it, there's an old man. Oh, apparently I needed to pick the other choice to get more information. There's an old man who lives near here who's always ranting about hidden monsters here in Skyloft. Everyone knows he's a little loony, though, so no one takes him seriously. You want to know where the old man is? Imagine he's at the Lumpy Pumpkin. Oh, I was just there. It's that old guy by the table who I said I believed. Uh, to the east of here. Okay, you need to fly your bird there, of course. Okay, we're going back to the lumpy pumpkin. All right, I guess uh, I guess that that's easy. We'll go right back there. There it is, right over there. There we go. All right, we're back at the lumpy pumpkin. We're gonna talk to that old guy again, and hopefully, he can give us a clue as to what he saw, and he won't just go on ranting about how how crazy he is. All right, the guy behind the bar doesn't seem to have another job for me, which is good, because I'm not ready for that quite yet. Uh, you have that gullible look that says you might take an old man's rambling seriously. You t so tell me, do you believe in the Skyloft monster? I shouldn't even call it a monster. It's a demon, I tell you. But no one can say for sure, because no one's seen it and lived uh, to tell the tale. Wah ha <laughs> You, you want to know about how I come telling the tale of nobody seen it left alive, is that it? Uh, yeah. Yeah, let's go with that. Well, yeah, well, I saw it, but I was able to escape by the seat of my pants. I was saved by the, my cat-like reflexes, I tell you. You look like you got cat-like reflexes. I, I believe you. Any regular person wouldn't have lived long enough to scream. Thankfully, I'm a cat. Uh, anyway, I saw the thing, I tell you. There was a great big tree in the cemetery. I walked by that tree in the middle of the night, and I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree, and all the gravestones lit up. All right, it pushed the gravestone and the door to the storage shed and opened up all by itself. Oh, okay. The, the monster then went to the shed and then it closed the door behind itself, which, un, which was unexpectedly polite for a demon. I guess, you know, demons got manners. Demons got manners, you know, they're not terrible. I guess they are kind of terrible. I'm trying to think of a compliment for a demon. I'm not coming with anything. Uh, put in the comments your best compliment for a demon. I'm curious what you come up with. It was the most it was the most terrifying thing these old eyes have ever seen. If you're smart, you'll stay clear of the cemetery in the middle of the night. All right, so we need to wait for nighttime, and we need to find out where the heck the cemetery is. I still don't know where that thing is. Is it on this island? 
Hmm. Seems I have some time to figure it out at least. Oh. Oh, I think that's it. I think that's it. Yeah. That looks like a cemetery to me. All right. Here we go. I think I found it. I don't know how I missed that. I, I went around the island, but I did not see the cemetery down there. So a cemetery has been located. That's step one. Step two is nighttime. I'm assuming I need to sleep in a bed, but there it is. They said the gravestone nearest the tree. That appears to be this guy. And then the doors open up? Those guys? Hmm. Can I just sleep? Let's see if there's a bed in, in this building here. Can I go in this building? Oh, the door's down here. Uh, sorry, whoever's house this is. Uh, I'm just gonna just gonna take it over for a few hours. That's all. Not too much to ask, I hope. Oh my goodness. Hello, ma'am. Can I borrow a bed? Uh, I love to collect antiques, you know. All the things you see in my house are very old and valuable. I better not roll around in here then. Make sure you don't break anything. All right. I don't toss and turn in my, in my sleep too much, so it's all good. Uh, I'm just gonna borrow your bed. Uh, how long do you want to sleep? I want to sleep until night. I'm surprised that worked. I can just sleep in her bed. She's got a very fancy bed covered in rupees and stuff. Quite fancy. Oh, and the shopkeeper's in here. Oh, look at you. You look like you have a mission for me. I do want to talk to him, but I also, my memory only lasts so long, so I'm going to leave that mission with him pending, and I'm going to hope that I come back to it at some point, because if I talk to him, and he's like, oh, go do this, uh, and then I'm not going to remember, because I don't think there's like a journal in here that tells me like, oh, you're doing these missions right now. Uh, imp no, I don't want to click on that. Okay, that's that. What does this button do? It's dowsing? Yeah, I don't see anything that's like, here's your missions. No. Okay. So I'm going to leave it like that. For right now, we still got a girl to save. So let's, let's not be too concerned with that. I have a girl to save. Get out of here, slime. All right, we have to touch the gravestone or move it. Let's move it. Yeah? That didn't work. I thought it was the one closest to the tree. Is this not the one closest to the tree? Well, hold on, let's move it back and then maybe... I thought the door would open automatically, but did that just like unlock it? No. All right, that would have been too easy. Apparently that was not... That was not it. Back to the drawing board. Okay. I'll admit, I'll admit I looked this one up. Because it, it wasn't quite clear, but I think I need to swing my sword at this thing. And then I can, and then I can push it. I didn't, didn't know I have to swing a sword at it. I don't know if I was told that and I just missed it. I saw it hit the gravestone nearest the tree and all the gravestones lit up. Wasn't clear, but we did it. You know what? Everybody's got to use a guide sometimes, right? We, we've all used guides in, in our lives. You know, I remember the, the very first guide I bought, you know, back when you bought physical guides on paper. Um, I, it was back when I bought uh, Twilight Princess on the on the Wii. I bought a guide for that at, at Fry's, and by golly did I play the heck out of that game. I even played it again on my channel here. Just a shameless self-plug there. Um, I've got a few other guides, too. Guides are good things, okay? Don't be judging me for the guides is what I'm getting at. Uh, somebody just screamed. Didn't sound great. This place looks very evil. Why do we have this place here in Skyloft? I thought this was like a peaceful place. All right, oh. Oh my goodness, this is uh. That's a demon, all right. Okay, a demon's just chilling in Skyloft. Very tiny eyes. Very long fingernails. Very deep voice. I'm just making observations here. Okay, we're battling. How do I battle? Oh. Never mind, we're not battling. Uh, bad tricks says, stop, please, I beg of you, don't hurt me. Oh goodness, I know how bad this must look right to you right now, but I assure you, I mean no harm. We're just playing scream so loud as you can game. <laughs> I love that game. Everybody at home, let's play it together. Let, scream as loud as you can right now. I'll see if I can hear it. No, I just hear the sound of your neighbors calling 911. That's all I hear. That's strange. Uh, isn't that a fun game? Oh dear, perhaps an explanation is in order. 
this whole conversation has taken a turn I was not expecting. My name is ba ba Batreox. Batreox. I'm really bad with names. Batreox. Uh, I am a monster who resides here in the humble dwelling below Skyloft. Yes, I realize that. But please allow me to correct one popular misconception. While I am certainly a monster, I wouldn't dream of terrorizing the people of this town. Okay. You see, this adorable little girl is the only one who, could, who didn't let loose a blood curdling scream at the side of me. Then who just screamed? Uh, since, she, since she began to visit me here, I felt positively jubilant. Uh, you see, my heart's only wish is to become friends with the lovely people of Skyloft. Alright, so far I can't blame you for- I don't know how much I can trust you, but what you're saying seems nice. Uh, but as you can surely imagine, it has proven quite difficult to break the ice when they're struck with paralyzing fear at the mere sight of me. I assure you, nothing would fill my heart with joy more than to be friends with the fine people of this town. Uh, but as soon as I try to approach any of them, they extend my claw in friendship. They run and scream as though they've been seen a walking nightmare. Uh, right, silly me, I've gotten ahead of myself. You see, there's this old tale among monsters kin that goes as follows. Whew, he's gonna tell me a whole story here. It seems that when humans make other humans happy, the happy humans produce substance called, known as gratitude crystal. Gratitude crystal? Okay, gratitude crystals are quite amazing. Simply looking at them and knowing there was such gratitude in the world could turn me from monster into human. Oh, wow. Okay, oh goodness, nothing would delight me more than become human. Well, what's wrong with being a monster besides everybody hating you? I guess that's one. That's, that's something wrong with you. But you know, you should be proud of yourself. Have more confidence, have more pride in yourself, you know? Go you. Go you, Bat Batreox. Batreox, whatever. <laughs> Tell me how to pronounce your name too. From the moment I laid eyes, from the moment I laid my regrettably demonic eyes on you, I could tell you had a gentle and generous heart. And then you pulled out that sword and went to chop me down. Then my mind changed about you. Uh, won't you please gather the gratitude crystals and show them to me? Sure. I don't know what a gratitude crystal is. Truly, you help me? Yeah. Where's the little girl, by the way? Is she here? That's why I came in here. I've heard you can obtain pure gratitude crystals by helping people solve their troubles. Mm -hmm. They could also be merely lying about here in Skyloft somewhere, amongst the clouds, anywhere you find people. I'm sure someone with a heart as pure and genuine as yours will be able to see them. Please, solve some troubles and gather me all the gratitude crystals you can find. You know, this guy's starting to sound like a con artist where he's just smooth talking his way out of a situation where he's like, Oh, Big O, you're such a pure and innocent human. You, you wouldn't hurt little old me. Oh, yeah, please find some gratitude crystals. This totally real thing I didn't just make up. Uh, that's kind of what's kind of the vibe I'm getting. Any help you can provide will be dearly appreciated. I promise your assistance will not go unrewarded. All right. Where is the... Oh, there she is. She's here. She's alive. Oh, oh, sorry. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. Sorry if I scared you there. Hey, Kukil. What the heck are you doing down here? Can you, can you go home? Please. Your mom's worried sick about you. Yeah, he's not a bad man. He saved me one time when I almost fell over the edge. And he's got... He lets me come here and scream as loud as I want. Oh, that's what that was. Anyway, he said it was so dangerous to go out alone at night, so I'll just hang out here for a while. Tell my mom I'll come home in the morning. Wow, for like a child. Very independent. A very independent child. Okay. All right, we're going to go find mom real quick and hopefully wrap this part of the mission up. Now, where does mom live? I'll admit again, I looked up the guide because I wasn't about to check every single house in this plan and this place. But I believe she lives here. You know, oh, or not. Was I wrong? Oh no, here she is. Here she is. Hey, you got any gratitude crystals for me? I know it's a weird ask, but also your your daughter's fine. Oh, you found Kukil. She said she'll be back tomorrow. Oh, that's fine. I'll just blindly trust you. Uh, well, I guess that's good to hear. She's at least with a friendly and responsible adult. Yeah, that's that's true, but I just can't wait to see her. I'm very chill about my daughter being missing and you not returning with her. Alright, you know, this it's kind of weird. Um, but you know, it's not weird uh, ending the episode here. Um, we, we found a child. We put a tablet in the thing to, to fly down. Next time, we'll fly down somewhere. Um, and we broke a chandelier. I think we did that this episode too. A lot of things happened this episode. Some of them were good things.